the game of the week for the divisional round, in my opinion, is the Bengals versus Bills. And it has a lot to do with what's happened on the field, but also a lot based on what hasn't happened on the field. Because on one hand, you have Joe Burrow versus Josh Allen, which is just some of the, I would say, two of the top three quarterbacks in the NFL going against each other. And on another hand, we sort of had an appetizer of what this game will look like because they played a portion of the game and it was an exciting portion, but they didn't finish it, obviously. At a more nuanced level, I'm really interested in this game too because the Bengals have the sixth best coverage grade according to PFF and the Bills by that same metric are the 10th best coverage team. So not only do you have great quarterbacks going at each other, you also have really good opposing defenses in place as well. I think what's going to dictate the entire game is the matchup of the Bills' defensive line against the Bengals' offensive line because the Bills ranked 6th in pressure in the NFL and far worse than that, the Bengals ranked 30th in pass protecting, which is possibly even overselling how good they'll be for this game because they're probably going to be without two of their starters and maybe without even three of their starters. The reason I think this matchup is so important is because from the Bengals receivers versus the Bills defensive backs point of view, I think the Bengals are going to have a notable advantage. And by that, I mean, I think the Bengals have a top three receiving unit in the NFL. And I think it's so good that it pretty much makes your defensive backs irrelevant. Because the Bills do have amazing defensive backs. It's one of the absolute best in the NFL. But at the end of the day, we're talking about defending Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. And then you have Hayden Hurst and Tyler Boyd as the like afterthoughts of the rest of this offense. I didn't even mention Joe Mixon, who's a really good running back. So there's a lot of talent that the Bengals have on that side of the ball that I think the only way you can truly stop them is if you get pressure in so fast that you kind of minimize what Higgins and Chase can do in the passing game. By paying such focus on the Bengals offense, I didn't mean to discredit the Bills offense any, as I think it's just a lot more simple, the matchup. I think the Bills have a really great offense, and I think the Bengals have a great defense. That I think the Bills have a very premier passing offense, albeit it's not the most sophisticated. It can oftentimes just be Josh Allen can throw that thing really far, and these guys can all in their own way get a lot of yards with... Davis, it's sort of just his strength to go deep downfield. With Diggs, he's going to run a thousand good, like, 12 yard routes on you in a row. And then McKenzie can take a very short pass and do a lot of run after the catch with it. For the Bengals, uh, another thing I'm a little bit nervous about is how we match up with Diggs because, in my opinion, the best corner the Bengals have is Mike Hilton. And that's not really his forte, is not defending these alpha wide receivers. He's meant to cover guys in the slot, which... I think the best thing about Diggs is he does so much of his damage as an outside receiver, which is traditionally thought of as being harder to do 
than getting similar results from in the slot where you're going to be matched up against oftentimes lesser or no press and you're just going to have wider option of routes to be able to run because you have more of the field at your disposal. In the end, I think the Bills are going to win because in really close games, I'll defer to who's the home team, and that's in favor of the Bills, obviously. But also, I do just think matchup-wise, they don't have a great answer, the Bengals, that is, for Stefan Diggs. And also, this offensive line is really going to struggle to pass protect for basically any amount of time which if we look back at the Rams game, a lot of the big big plays against the Bengals were Aaron Donald coming in really quickly and disrupting a play or any of their other great pass rushers. And I think this Bills team has about as good of a pass rush as that Rams team did, even without Vaughn Miller. So I think that's what's going to decide the game. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content too. Thank you for watching.